here live all the way in right Virginia, hmm. Dr. Zach Bush. On many of these lives, I've talked about a product called Restore. Hold it up. We got it there. There it is. All right, he is the founder of this product. Here's the problem, it's backwards right now. <laughs> yeah. So put this in your mirror and then you will see it's Restore, okay? So um, we didn't have anyone to shoot, so we're gonna have to do it backwards. But anyways, so I talked about, I, I talked to them, now I want you to talk to them about basically the impossibility of just taking a probiotic and fixing the gut, but Absolutely. that's what the world's doing, right? It's far more complicated than that. Yeah, and it, it's, you know, at first a little bit of hopeless sounding. Uh, we're supposed to have 30,000 species or more in our huge ecosystem of the bacteria. Picture a, a rainforest or a coral reef. That's the kind of complexity you should have in this ecosystem of your intestines. And it starts at the skin, the nasal sinuses, all the way through the intestines. So it's this rich biome, this ecosystem that runs stem to stern through your body. 30,000 species. Now compare that to this extraordinary reality that only three to five species in your typical probiotic. Some of them now on the market, 24 species they're bragging. You can take 24 species all day long and you're never gonna get to 30,000. And so just as Dr. Pompa has told you, the probiotic is a stepping stone at very best. It's yep. a band-aid you're throwing in there, never gonna get you to something we would call gut health. Yep. And so what we're really talking about when we say gut health now is gut intelligence. What do I mean by intelligence? And it's probably a big train, a good lesson in our macro environment that intelligence comes from diversity. Mm -hmm. That's probably what we should think about in our politics yeah. too, <laughs> is that we would find more intelligence with the diversity. And so if you are on a probiotic right now, make sure you're cycling to some other species from switching them up, but really start to focus on how are you gonna get that ecosystem back into play. We got lucky on Restore, it's a whole new paradigm of gut health that we could have never imagined before we found it. Uh, all the best discoveries and paradigm shifts that have ever happened were by accident, and I would count myself in that. Nowhere near smart enough to have thought of this thing uh, prospectively. But retrospectively, as we saw this thing transforming cells under the microscope all the way to uh, general health in our clinic, we had to decode this and find out that we discovered not the bacteria there, we discovered their communication network. And so Restore is the first compound out on the market that really is harnessing the full potential of this communication network, each species contributing five or 10 words within this vast vocabulary. The very cool thing about this is, is you know, as a clinician, it's like, oh my gosh, 30,000 species, how are we ever gonna figure out how to get that back into the ecosystem of a patient to get them healthy again? And the reality is you don't. You will never get yeah. smart enough to make micromanage that back into health. Yeah. This, the trees behind us, the air we're breathing right now, the clouds above us, that ecosystem, that's where we're gonna regain that. And Restore is very unique in that it's really this organic compost from the bacterial and fungal environment of soil 50 million years ago that's now activated and working in your gut to support life as it diversifies. And now get out on your mountain bike and run down a trail you've never been on. Do these things and you're gonna start breathing bacteria back into this environment that's now supported by that compost and you're gonna get that rich organic garden back in your life. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, so uh, Gina said fulvic. Fulvic, uh, the humates, uh, that's part of some of that soil. But this product's a lot different than that. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I mean, w so why is this a benefit? So we're, you know, there's something in this product. Um, these ligites contain these redox molecules, and they're basically communication molecules between bacteria. Absolutely. You know, in your cells. It, why is that a benefit to them? So your listeners spot on there. So there's been a lot of soil extracts out there. Started with humix. Uh, the big humic compounds, humic acid, then the fulvic acid was discovered and really done. Before those, there was actually something called shilajit, which is now back on the market again. These are huge macromolecules that deliver minerals very effectively. Mm -hmm. and so for a, if you're going after a mineral supplement, you're going to go after a fulvic compound or a humic compound. But you're spot on. There's some other potential there that I recognized in 2012 when I found these molecules that there's the opportunity not for delivering minerals, but actually delivering communication. And that's where this word redox comes right. in. A redox molecule is the contraction of re reduction and oxidation. Oxidation, accumulation of positive charge. It's an acid acidity at the tissue level. An antioxidant is bringing the ability to neutralize that with a reductant. A reductant brings negative charge donation. And so a redox state is where it's not just oxidants are bad and reductants are good. Right. We used to think that. We did. Yeah, Up but now we really know it's, it's both are needed. 
But it's a communication signal, you know, really. I mean, it's it's acting as a signal no question. device uh, from cell to cell and allowing them to communicate. So You can imagine it like dominoes. You, know, you line up these tiny little dominoes and you can communicate 30 feet away by tipping one domino. Same thing in this redox environment. Your mitochondria make oxygen redox molecules, and what we found with the Restore product is the bacteria are making this huge family of carbon backbone mm -hmm. molecules that have this oxygen hydrogen binding potential. And so to take raw material to this state of this high electrical signaling really puts into play the ability for one cell in your body to talk to a distant cell yeah, again. And that, that's key. I just spent two hours with your scientists, about five of them, and I had the time of my life, by the way. So <laughs> Nerded I, my out brain, big time today. Oh, yeah, it was great. I, I could barely uh, do anything but just you know sit there and ask questions unless I'd still be there. Okay, so we talked about this product with leaky gut. Closing up leaky gut, something called tight junctions. You've heard me talk about this, right? So here come the thumbs up and the hearts. Okay? There they come. <laughs> so tell them why and how this product is mandatory for leaky gut and why all of my doctors are using it and why it's needed. How's it going to help them? So this is, again, something that is going to sound like I thought of this. Not at all. We found this out by accident. <laughs> like so, um, so an extraordinary reality was happening 10 years ago. I, I used to design chemotherapy. I was all the way allopathic, way down the dark side. Yeah, you're an endocrinologist, but you were in cancer research. Cancer research, yeah. studying the, the, the mitochondrial backbone of cancer. And you know now we have Cancer as a Metabolic Disease as a book from Tom Seafried. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was already in that environment where I was understanding that the mitochondria were critical in the regulation of cell death and all of this stuff. And so uh, that was my background. And so when it came time to start a nutrition clinic, it took me a while to kind of realize that health food wasn't working as well as it should have. Yeah. I was pounding kale and superfoods into my patients. They were getting more inflammation, not less. And it took quite a while before we were able to reverse engineer to find out that, oh my gosh, there's a chemical in our food chain now, in the vegetables that we're growing, that is breaking down that tight junction system, that intelligent membrane that separates you from the outside world, breaking down from glyphosate, I think is the That's the one. chemical, yeah. Glyphosate active ingredient, it used to be in Roundup only, but now it went off patent Several. in 2007, it's everywhere, most of it's made in China, it's a disaster. Two billion kilograms of this chemical in our food chain. Unfortunately, it's a water-soluble toxin, which means it gets into our groundwater, evaporates, gets into our clouds, rains on us. 75% of the rainfall in the United States right now, glyphosate detected. Yeah. 75% of the air samples, especially throughout the South, positive for glyphosate. So we are breathing it. It's raining on us. It's raining on our but crops. But it, it's opening up our gut barrier and our blood-brain barriers, we opening up to toxins and all types of problems. And it's not just the front-end protection system, unfortunately. It's also every blood vessel in your body is tied together with tight junctions. The blood-brain barrier, tight junctions. The kidney tubules, tight junctions. And so what you see is that if we introduce a chemical that weakens that Velcro system at the at the front end and on the back end, we li literally turn into sponges for toxin. Yeah. Can't keep them out, we can't reject them. Yeah. So you're just soaking it in. And so Restore becomes this incredibly powerful tool to put back into play the bacterial communication that strengthens that extracellular matrix. Tight junctions are just the beginning. Gap junctions, all kinds of protein structural stuff coming back into and, play. And you, I, t I met your scientist that showed, proved that it does close the tight junctions even in the presence of glyphosate. John Gilday is the man. Yeah, I mean, this guy is one of the I, incredible, I love the guy. Yeah. supercharged brain yeah. on this guy. And he accident. even John makes mistakes, and it was because I was distracting him. Um, but uh, he did the experiment wrong. So we were supposed to be at 20 parts per million. He accidentally introduced 20,000 times too much glyphosate that you would see in your diet. And we continued to do 100% protection with, with, with the Restore. So it looks like Mother Nature has this ridiculous grace. Here we are as humans, idiotically, pouring a chemical to rob our soils of all of its nutrients and health. And yet Mother Nature would have the grace to 50 million years ago plant okay. an antidote in that very soil that would solve yeah, our it's, it's insanity. remarkable, right? Yeah, it's incredible. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. this stuff, I mean, it was uh, it's from ligites. I mean, it really, it was just such a discovery. That's why I say founder uh, more so than inventor. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, look, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, I, let me tell you something. If I have anything like I'm traveling you have the one that sprays the nasal spray is yeah powerful. I yep. spray it up my nose I 
I, I literally, I mean, I can't tell you the last time I was even sick, even had a cold, but I thought I was getting one because yeah. everyone in the house was sick. So I was really pretty much started spraying it up like nothing. So, the you know, I mean, up there to, to yeah, exactly right. It's there like I is. spray it. I do it. I mean, I take it. I travel. I take the little containers. I'm, spray know, it on your skin. Spray yeah. it on your ears. It's it's yeah, every yeah. orifice. Yeah. It works everywhere. Well, so. remember, it's, it's not adding bacteria. It's helping your bacteria communicate. Get yeah. them back in yeah. touch. Yeah. You, you got to get them back in balanced. touch. It's one of the products that works. If we don't close down these tight junctions, you're just a, a sieve for open toxins and Thank food you, allergies, etc. So there the it is. The backwards restore label. The backwards restore label. So, <laughs> all right, guys.